Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's look features a perfect look for a night out on the town. Actually, I wore this look out for my birthday and wanted to share it with you all, but it's perfect for a night out. So if you like this look, then please continue to watch. Here are a few photos of the original look on the night out. As you can see, I've already applied my foundation and filled in my eyebrows. Starting with my NYX Concealer in a Jar and Fair, I'm going to use that as I always do as my base or my primer. Try to zoom in my camera so you can see a little bit better this time. As you can see, I'm applying all over my eyelid and in the crease. But you want to concentrate it at the bottom of the lid and then just kind of um, spread it out throughout the crease. And I'm doing the same thing to my other eye. And as you can see, I started off with a lot, but I just kind of spread that out all over my eyelid. Make sure you get it good and even. Now using my 28 neutral palette, I'm going to use this kind of buff or tan kind of shade with my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. There it is. And I'm going to use that as my under eye highlight, I mean my under the brow highlight. You'll see a lot in this video that I'm playing with the camera. This was actually my first time recording with this particular camera. So my, I'm applying that right under my eyebrow, very lightly. Now I'm going to my Moon Shadow Palette from Sephora, the one that was shown in my haul video. If you haven't seen it already, you should check it out. And I'm using this gold and brown kind of shade. And I'm going to use that right in my crease, just to define it a bit. I'm using my BH Cosmetics um, fluffy brush, for lack of a better term. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's a blending brush. And I'm using that right in my crease. And this will create some definition in my crease as well as serve for a transition color as I use some of the darker colors. Now I'm going to switch to this dark brown shade in the same palette. Using the same brush, I'm going to apply that in my crease as well. Now going back to my 28 neutral palette, I'm going to use this eggplant shade and I'm going to apply that in my crease as well and you should apply this in a windshield wiper type motion and I like to apply this with my fluffy brush so it's not as concentrated and it blends out evenly now I'm going back to this light brown tan kind of color I'm going to use that just to buff out the colors so they aren't as harsh I want this look to be soft but appropriate for a night out so not anything super dark I just want it to be nice and sultry and kind of sexy so I'm using this broken pencil from the beauty supply store it's similar to the NYX jumbo pencil in milk I'm using that and just applying it to the base of my eyelid and I'm using my finger to apply that and this is going to serve as an additional base for the next color we're going to use. Now using a regular eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I'm using my MAC eyeshadow in Jade's Fortune 
and you can actually find this at the matte counter now the color is actually called water but it's very it's the exact same as Jade's fortune so I'm just going to lightly tap my eyelid to apply that with my eyeshadow brush make sure you're not rubbing it and blending it out too much you just want to tap it very lightly I don't know what I'm doing here but um, I'll be back to record in a second Going back to that, I'm applying the eyeshadow to my other eye using the same padding motions. Now going back to my BH Cosmetics blending brush, I'm going to blend all of those colors together. And now using my Eco Tools crease brush, I'm going to go back to that eggplant shade just to define my crease. This is one of my favorite brushes to use. Now going back to that blending brush one more time, I'm just going to blend out the colors, of course, so they create a gradient effect. I'm going back to the eyeshadow brush from elf I'm just going to use that to blend that out but also apply a little bit more of the blue shade as you can see here this is the look so far now I'm going to clean it up with my Mac mineralized skin finish I'm just going to clean up the side of my eyes just to make sure there isn't any fallout or anything that you that's present Now using a contour brush from e.l.f. I'm going to use that to, to define my inner tear duct or to highlight my inner tear duct. I'm using this gold shade from the Moon Shadow palette. This is the nude palette and I'm applying that right on my tear duct and also on, my, on the inside of my lower lash line. Just I'm going about halfway on the, on the bottom. You can see close up here, I'm going about halfway using that brush on the bottom and then I also apply it in my tear duct and I, I'm going to blend it out into my other shadows that I applied. Going back to my favorite blending brush, you're going to blend those colors together. I like to use a color on the inside of my tear duct just to brighten up the look a little bit. Now I'm going to line my eyes with Jordana Easy Liner and Smokey. I'm going to line just my waterline with that. Now using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, I'm going to line my eyelid, my top eyelid, and I'm going to do some winged eyeliner for this look. And make sure you apply it at the base of the eyelid. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner, you can check out my foundation routine, which includes a tutorial in that. I went for a kind of dramatic wing with this look since it was for a night out. I thought it was appropriate. And you can also use lashes to make this look even more dramatic if, if you want. I used lashes on the night of um, my birthday celebration, but for the purpose of this video, I did not use lashes. Okay, so now that the eyes are complete, I'm going to take a Q-tip and put a little bit of makeup remover on the ends 
and just clean up my eyeliner and eyeshadow. Now for the cheeks and lips. I'm using my complexion brush from e.l.f. I'm going to apply some e.l.f. body glow which comes in a beautiful gold kind of color just to highlight my face. And with this powder a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to lightly tap it on my cheeks, on my cheekbone, on the bridge of my nose, and on a little bit on my forehead and on my cupid's bow. And I'm going to take my complexion brush and just blend that all in. I love the way it looks when the light hits it or when you get out in the sun. It just looks so beautiful and it gives your skin a radiant glow. I'm looking for my blush palette and apparently I can't find it. There it is. Now I'm using my Sedona Lace 28 color blush palette and my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm going to apply some pink blush to my cheeks. There it is. And you can go dramatic on the blush if you want to or you can go lightly. I kind of went lightly this time since I'm going to do a bold look. Lip and my eyes are pretty gold as well. So I'm just taking my Sonia Kashuk face brush and I'm just blending my highlight and my blush. Now using my Stiletto Lash Mascara by Maybelline, I'm applying that to my eyelashes. Instead of using lashes this time, like I said earlier, you could use lashes if you wanted to. And now for the lips, I'm using a Jordana Easy Liner Lip Pencil in Lilac. And I'm going to zoom in to show you how I line my eyes. I mean, not my eyes, my lips. I've already applied some chapstick just to prep my lips for the lip color. And here I am applying just the inside of my lips. And I'm going kind of heavy on the liner so I won't have to use as much lipstick. So I'm going to blend that in like such and then apply the lipstick. I'm using Up the Amp by MAC and it's a beautiful purple color. And now for the final look. Here's the final look for this um, eyeshadow tutorial. As you can see, I have the Bold Eyes in the Water or Jade's Fortune by MAC, and I'm also using Up the Amp. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!